Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with my very special guest, the CEO of Gold Mountain Mining, Kevin Smith. How are you doing today, Kevin? I'm great. Thanks for having me today. Hey, thank you for joining us. Really excited to have you on the show. Beautiful background there in beautiful British Columbia. And I'm um, really, really excited to hear more about Gold Mountain Mining, which is on fire today, having a huge day. The stock is exploding, doing quite well. First and foremost, Kevin, why don't you tell us a little bit about Gold Mountain Mining and what got you motivated to be a part of the company? Yeah, Gold Mountain Mining uh, is my first public deal, so I wanted to make sure it was a really strong one. I met uh, Grant Carlson and Ron Wu about two years ago. They told me about the project. They told me how it had a path to cash flow. Uh, they told me they thought I had some exploration upside, and I thought it would be a great one to uh, kick off my public market career with. Fantastic. Now, can you tell us a little bit about how the mining contract for the life of mine will help Gold Mountain Mining cash flow to scale the business efficiently? Yeah, one thing that's really unique here is, uh, you know, we're not going to have to continually go back to the market and dilute our company. Uh, we're pretty confident that we can get this into production and use the cash flow off of that production to continue to keep the drills turning. And then also expand our production profile and build an on-site mill in 2024. Wow. Now, Gold Mountain Mining also has a very experienced team. Can you talk a little bit about your team and what those key members of the team bring to the table? Yeah, we're a very operationally strong group here. We've got mining engineers who've put many mines into production, manage mines that are in production. Uh, we've also got some major titans in our advisory crew of uh, Tuki Angus and Dan Coons. Having those guys around the deal and making sure we're not making any wrong moves is a huge advantage. We've got some great capital market experience also uh, from our directors. Uh, it's a young management team, uh, but we're super hungry. We've been working hard and uh, we're looking forward to delivering excellent shareholder value to uh, our supporters. Very good. As a CEO, it's vital to build shareholder equity and create shareholder value. I love hearing that from you, Kevin. Now, how long do you think it will take for Gold Mountain Mining Corp to put the Elk Gold project back into production? You know, we have a goal to uh, get this back into production this summer. That would mean there's about a month of site prep uh, and getting a few areas ready to receive waste rock. Uh, there'd be another two months of waste drop mining. And then our goal is to be delivering ore to our uh, ore purchase agreement partner uh, in October of this year. Wow, very good. Now, Gold Mountain Mining Corp is a company that's doing quite well, but there's a lot of gold stocks out there. There's a lot of mining stocks out there. There's a lot of stocks out there. How do you differentiate yourself from your competition? Yeah, back to that point about that uh, early cash flow and being able to expand in a non-dilutive manner. That's going to let us continue to explore and add ounces to the back side of the resource while we slowly chip away on the front side of the resource and creating that cash flow. So for a company to go into production so soon after you know listing on uh, the TSXV, uh, I think it's going to turn a lot of people's heads and it's going to get uh, it's going to get the market excited. It's a little bit different story than people are used to hearing. Because, you know, the traditional model is to explore, raise more money, explore, raise more money, and then develop a mine long term. Uh, we're going directly into production and we're going to use the proceeds of mining to continue to build the asset and then eventually expand our portfolio with similar assets. I love what you're saying. And for us, a tight share structure is key to our success at Rich TV Live. Our community loves tight float stocks. Can you explain a little bit about your share structure, maybe how much is held by insiders and institutions? Yeah, so when we went out uh, to the market and, and raised money, that was one thing that was very important to us was having a tight share structure. We've got really strong escrow releases. So all of our shareholders know that they're long with us while we build out this company. And, you know, these typical Vancouver companies where there's a lot of, uh, let's call them loose shares hanging around and uh, it makes it really hard to build a market. We've taken a very different approach and, you know, we've told people we're looking for long-term partners. Insiders have been cutting checks since the very beginning. Uh, we continue to cut checks in each round of financing that we're doing because we believe in the project and I think it's an important message. We have a couple really strong institutions backing us, which is very important as a, as a new company. And, and I think you're going to see them continue to add. 
Uh, but you know, we have about 25% of the float free trading and all of those people are communicating that they're long with us. And, uh, yeah, we're really excited about the opportunity in front of us. We don't really see a whole lot of shares coming out in the market until summertime, uh, which really lets us execute, get our story out. And if there are people who do want to exit, we can transfer their shares over to strong hands and hopefully people ride the wave with us into Q4 at least this year, because I think that's when this story gets really exciting with the cash flow. Yeah, it's been pretty exciting already. I mean, we've seen the stock go from under a dollar today. Well, last time I looked, it hit a high of dollar twenty-five. So it's clearly uptrending. Where do you see the company going for investors and shareholders that are watching and going to be watching this video all over the world? What can they expect from Gold Mountain Mining over the short and midterm? Yeah, I would say expect a lot more of what you've seen so far. We spent two years methodically putting this business plan together so that when we were public, we had the correct news flow, uh, you know, that steady trickle of positive progress. And we're going to continue to deliver that. Our goal as a company, again, uh, we're told it's aggressive, uh, but we believe we've put in the work early uh, so that we can we can deliver on all those commitments that we've made. So we I would tell your shareholders, expect to see a lot more of what they've seen already. Fantastic. If there was one thing you would want those shareholders that are watching to know about Gold Mountain Mining Corp as the CEO, Kevin, what would it be? Gold Mountain Mining is a real mining company. We're going to build a mine on this site. We're going to use that cash flow to increase the resource. And then we're going to go out and look for similar projects or uh, blue sky projects and continue adding shareholder value. That's great. And if an investor or a joint venture partner, another company is interested in doing business, investing or contacting you or the company, what's the best way for them to reach the company? Anybody who wants to reach out to me directly, my email is ks at gold-mountain.ca. We've got tons of great information on our website at gold-mountain.ca. And then we have great social media. So come find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, we just started a Telegram channel. So, you know, there's lots of places to find us and we're going to be constantly updating our news flow. So I encourage people to follow along. That's great. Thank you so much for your time today. Kevin Smith, the CEO of Gold Mountain Mining Corp. Everybody put it on your watch list, put it on your radar. This is a company that's just getting started. I do find it to be undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we discuss here on Rich TV Live and make sure you speak to your financial advisor. Do your due diligence. We are not licensed. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we educate the public. And if you like this video, smash the like button, comment on the video, mm -hmm. subscribe, and share the video everywhere so that the rest of the world can also learn about this under, undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed company, Gold Mountain Mining Corp. That is on the rise. Thank you so much for your time, Kevin Smith, the CEO. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Looking forward to being back. Thank you for having us and thank you for joining us. And for those of you that are watching, thank you for your time. Have a great day and thank you for watching.